no gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video on County Line in FS17. So we're continuing from yesterday exactly. Um, there's going to be a lot of that in this series where I just basically exactly where I left off in the previous day is exactly where I'm going to pick up the next day. So um, that's exactly what we're doing here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, just work on our oats here. Pretty sure that's what we're planting. Yeah, oats. Uh, this field should not take us long at all. I'm hoping anyways. Now you know what, we're going to just lock onto this GPS course. I know we're overlapping into the dirt, but... We're getting it lined up on the other side because uh, this is the line that I'm going to follow because this field will not take long. Uh, in fact, actually, we might even be able to finish it in this video. So, we're still on day one and we've gotten a lot of stuff done. Although, I think after this field, I am going to fast forward to the next day um, just to kind of just get us to the next day get us to some nice light uh, it is only five o'clock but we got quite a few clouds over top of us here so now we're gonna kick it over again now there isn't any rain shown here on the forecast just some clouds so we probably could use the moisture though. I don't know why it skipped that a little bit there. I'm going to try and pick it up later. Maybe the way that I turned caused it to miss. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that now. I must need to update my dra graphics driver again. Seems like when there's an update for that, it usually starts doing that thing where it'll kick me out of the game yeah, and it's leaving spots there too hmm I don't know what the deal is it's just plowed texture not for sure looks like all that it is unless we got some field boundary issues or something but who knows I guess I know I don't, so. using about uh, 20 to 25 liters of diesel an hour. Kind of neat to be able to see your usage. We're just going to go straight down on this track and then we'll come turn around and come back and get this little bit that we miss. Just because I want to get this edge straight now and then not have to do it later. minutes not doing too bad I don't know what the heck the deal is with these skips I don't know maybe it's planting over them too I don't know I guess we'll find out come harvest or I guess spring or uh, I mean summer that's spring we're in spring come summer we'll find out what's uh, going on here I wanted to turn around and get this little section.
we get a screenshot here of this before I forget. See, they have uh, a hand that's all messed up on this tractor and not on a control or anything. Looks like it's in his overalls or something. Kind of funny. Okay, we're going to turn this back on here. Just because I want to turn my lines on again. Just, just because. Our temperature did go up quite a bit. Uh, it was, I think it started out 34. Now we're up at 41. Our ground temp is still 39 degrees, but... <clears throat> our uh, outside temp has gone up a little bit. Actually, I'm just going to kick the time scale in right now. plant uh, through the night because the night won't really last very long <laughs> it's almost like it's like tire tracks is almost what it looks like in a way I don't know why they're why it's there like that it's kind of strange and I guess if we don't if it's not planting over it we might have to just wait until after harvest and come in with a disc and uh, go over top of it and just see. I'm gonna take a screenshot here in the dark. Once it gets a little darker. It is only about 7 o'clock, but... It's awfully dark in the game, so... I don't think it'll get much darker. I have seen a mod that makes the nights, like, more realistic or something like that. It makes it darker and stuff like that, but... I think it's plenty dark just the way it is. cars well yeah we do <laughs> to say we don't have any cars coming but hey they were far enough back I guess so now we're at about 1030 1040 I want to get to about seven or eight o'clock in the morning or somewhere where it's like light enough out that we don't need lights and stuff. Dirt, 100%. What's that supposed to mean? Maybe that's saying the stage of dirt that it has? Huh, I've never seen that before. Okay, so we got 18,750 in loan interest. 
32724 in leasing cost, 316 in running cost and $20 in property maintenance. Okay. Yeah, I still don't know how the heck you take this stuff back. Because it doesn't show up in the store menu. You must have to drive it all the way up there or something. But like I said, I'll uh, do some research on it. Figure it out. Also do some testing on the uh, Great Plains, I guess, and figure that out. <clears throat> Maybe I'll do it on a different save game. Different save game for this, because... I am going to set up a save game, like, you know, just a normal save game for me, where, you know, I'll just cheat in a ton of money and buy the biggest equipment, buy tons of land, you know, and all that fun stuff. Just sit and run a big operation. Multiple combines and that sort of stuff. few more passes left and we'll be done. We're only halfway through the video actually, so we are making pretty good time. We'll be able to start the rye. Get started on that. Is that we're doing in field 10, which is the one right over there, I think, right? Yes, it's just kitty corner. So yep, this one right there that we're kind of seeing. And where's the sunrise at now? Not sure which direction I'm going. Kind of going north. Kind of north, uh, northwest a little bit. So the sun should be coming up over there, I think. Is it? Oh. I don't remember, I guess. We got nobody coming towards us, so... Ain't nobody behind us either, which is nice. Perfect. Alright, so we just got, I think, four or five passes to do, and... It almost looks like a potato texture, in a way. That's kind of what it looks like. But if it was potatoes, it'd plant right over it. It should, anyways, I would think. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, we got four passes, so... I think we'll go about one more hour or so, half hour. We'll go to 7.30 and we should be good then. Alright, 7.30. We're on the second day of spring. Uh, I think there's four more days of spring left. I think I have my season set to six. Yeah, they're at six, so. We have four more days of spring. look like here for tabs two growing okay I don't didn't want to go too far in fast forwarding because I don't want like the outer edge of that field to start growing a little bit and then have like the rest of it you know like where come harvest time the outside ring is ready to grow or ready to combine but then the inside ring still growing because that'd be kind of annoying yeah 
Yeah, we should be able to get started on our oats. Or our rye, excuse me. Oof. Headset's starting to get uncomfortable a little bit here. Been wearing it for quite a while now, so. Definitely not very much traffic on the road here. I'd like to get one of those mics that like sits on the desk. It'd be kind of nice. But then again, I also like my headset, so I uh, just wish it was a little more comfortable to be wearing for a while. This is definitely a whole lot faster than our other planting setup. We wouldn't even be halfway done with that field right now. do some in cab for the people that they're always complaining that there's not enough in cab work although it is a whole lot quieter to do it in cab nope no I see on this refill seed too before we uh, start on our rye we're gonna be running pretty low here we've still got plenty of seed to finish but I think I hope we only got one pass left so I don't think we're using that much seed but I mean we did use almost 80% about 73% just on this little field, so it's kind of hard to say. And we got a sign right in the way. It's actually floating. We're going to go out of cab here for a moment. Okay, there we go.
Just got one more field left and then we'll be able to wash up this planter and return it and then we just got uh, we got two fields to plant with the Great Plains if that's what we end up being able to use. Yeah, we might be able to get a headland done on uh, field 10 there, if we're lucky. So we can shut our GPS off, we can lift this, shut it off. keep it stopped while these wheels come off the ground otherwise they just sit and spin and spin and spin Oops. come on there we go I don't know why they didn't want to come on before alright we'll switch to rye yeah we used exactly 80% on that field there Cover. We'll shut the tractor down because I know it's going to shut it down anyways. So why not do it manually? We'll get that thing out so that we can get lined up. Perfect. Alright, and that thing is good to go. It's kind of weird that it does that little honk, but whatever. Alright, we'll drive her down and away we go. We got our screenshot mode on, get rid of this. And there we go. Now we're all set. Yeah, I can see it kind of rotating in that spot again on the tongue. Not exactly sure why, but it is. It's kind of strange. Maybe it's supposed to, I don't know. Never actually seen one of these planters in real life. Don't know anybody that has one. At least that I know of, anyways. Maybe somebody does. But... As far as I know, nobody that I know has one.
We're just gonna leave that because we're just gonna do a headland around here and then we'll uh, call it a video. This is definitely a large field. Um, this is the biggest one that we've planted yet. I mean, field 8 is larger, but I haven't planted any of it yet. And when we do, it's going to be with a thing that's, like, way larger than this thing is. How large is the Great Plains here? This one is 18.2, so then this one is 12.8. So, it'll be 5.4 meters, almost 5.5 meters larger than this one. So, pretty good sized. Okay, and I need to fix this video here quick if I can. No, I cannot from there. Darn it. Because I don't want it to be public right now. Not at all. What? I have to put it to private for now, I guess. And just have to remember that uh, on whatever day that this one has to go up, that I, uh, on the 19th, so on Wednesday at 6 o'clock, I gotta remember to put that back to public. It's always annoying when the uh, schedule feature does not work, because then I gotta sit and remember. I'll have to put like a reminder on my phone or something like that, that, hey, 6 o'clock on Wednesday, put that thing to live. So what way do we have that I'm running? That's not the way that I'm gonna run it in this field. I'm gonna kinda run it a little more north south. But that'll be tomorrow. And actually tomorrow for me as well from I'll be doing that on Monday, that'll be recording that one. This is the last video I'm gonna record for the night. And I gotta work on editing a whole bunch yet. Also uploading. There's the end, finally. And we used 26, 27% just going around at once. 
definitely have to refill it before this field's done, I think. Alright, so we're gonna just get our GPS line lined up here. We're not gonna actually do anything with it. collision on that fence. <laughs> yeah, so we want to run it like that, kind of. Kind of. That's not exactly the way that I was thinking of doing it, but... But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.